Hi friends, welcome to the Future of Education, where passion meets purpose. I'm Amy from Dumru.ai, and today we're diving deep into the boardroom. Public school board members are the backbone of our K-12 system, yet they face mounting pressures with limited time, tools, and data clarity. And there's no one better to unpack all of this with me than Dr. Doug Loughborough, a man who's walked the walk. Former trustee at one of the largest elementary districts in California, now a national educator, leader, and my brilliant colleague at Dumru. Dr. Luff, thank you for being here. Thank you, Amy, so much for having me. It's truly an honor. Uh, This conversation is long overdue. I couldn't agree with you more, so let's jump right in. So whether you're a board president in Illinois, a trustee in Atlanta, or a superintendent in Texas, the pain points are real. What's the most common challenge school board members face today, Dr. Luff? You know, I think it all boils down to two words, time and trust. School board members are responsible for budgets larger than some cities. In my case, in Southern California, in Chula Vista, we managed a budget of $210 million across 45 schools. Wow. You know, but we didn't get dashboards. We got data dumps. Thursday night PDFs, hundreds of pages, no narrative, just numbers. Wow, exactly. Yeah. And that's really where AI enters, right? So it's not a replacement for judgment, but it really is a force more multiplier. I mean, bingo. You hit the nail right on the head. Uh, Let me tell you about a case I saw in Fresno, California. Chronic absenteeism had spiked, but it took weeks to notice because no one had connected the dots. With Dumru.ai, we could have flagged that in 24 hours, in less than 24 hours. AI would have shown, one, it was the highest in three middle schools, two, It correlated the bus route route changes, and three, 87% of impacted students were from the same zip code. That's real insight, Amy. That's proactive governance. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, if you could imagine a board vice president chair in Detroit logging into Dumru and seeing a you know a stat reading reading scores among multilingual learners are up 12% or behavioral incidents increased in second grade at just three campuses. You know, you don't need to be a data analyst to lead wisely, just a leader with the right lens. And that's what equity really means. You know, um, at the Chula Vista Elementary School District, the model um, was, um, you know, each each child is an individual of great worth. And you know, when we think about equity, we think that all means all because let's be honest school boards can pass equity policies all day but until we can see the real-time gaps and have it broken down by subgroups by grade by geography those policies are just paperwork and i think many people when they want to join a school board they have the right intentions but there are a lot of different groups that kind of push people to the left, push people to the right, and we lose track on what matters most, and that's student achievement. That's helping students uh, get from where they are to where they need to be. And AI and, pro- and, and platforms like dumru.ai can really help support that. Yeah, can I quote you on that? I mean, please do. You know, my, in, in my own district, one of the things that I was interested in was really how our African-American or black students were performing. Um, you know, uh, we I used to wonder why black male students in the fifth grade were disengage were disengaging. What were the reasons for that? You know, teachers were trying hard. Parents were frustrated. Um, you know, I really do feel like if we had Dumru.ai, we could have seen that. You know, a high number of percentage of them were placed in long term subs due to staffing shortages. Like that's powerful information that really could have helped us make informed decisions right on the spot. You know, that's the power of AI plus human wisdom. We can intervene early with context, compassion, and confidence. 
Yeah, I love that. And for anyone listening, this is not science fiction. So Dumru is in classrooms right now. In New Jersey and Texas, North Carolina, we're helping superintendents, principals, and school boards do what they do best. Serve students without drowning in spreadsheets. Yeah, I mean, yes, you know, dumru.ai isn't just another tool. It's an ecosystem. Mm-hmm. And you know, the program's been developed to work with students, with teachers, with administrators, and with parents. Can you just imagine the possibilities of being the connect the dots between those two groups and providing relevant real-time information so that we can make informed decisions on how to best lead our schools and lead our districts? I mean, it connects the dots between board policies, district performance goals, our school uh, our school climate surveys, student outcomes. It's like having your very own chief strategy officer or equity auditor or data coach that's right there with you each step of the way all in one platform yeah dr luff you just gave me some chills so let me ask you a quick question what would you say to a board president in pennsylvania who's overwhelmed by competing priorities well i'm gonna start off with i'm a child of the 80s so i'm (laughs) gonna quote the famous michael the king of rock himself michael jackson when michael jackson said you are not alone. You are not alone. Uh, a lot of folks are are going through the same experience. You don't have to choose between oversight and impact. Let AI take the grind. You bring the vision. Dumru.ai is here to help you govern with speed, with soul, and with systems. Yeah, that's right. Speed, soul, and systems. That's a wrap right there. Let's 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 build a future where every student is seen, every student feels heard, every board member feels equipped with the information right on their fingertips about how to create positive change within their district, and every school community gets the support it deserves. You know, Amy, I really appreciate our conversation today. It's been really enlightening. It, it reminds me of why I wanted to be a school board member. And I got to tell you this story because it's really amazing. Okay. Um, you know, you know when I, I was going through grad school, I was at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. And I took a class um, with my professor. His name was Dr. Charles V. Willie. He was the only tenured African-American professor. And he went to Morehouse College with none other than Martin Luther King. No pressure, wow. huh? It was oh, pretty cool. And he, had this, and he had this class. It was called... School board governance, how to govern in community and help every child be successful. And you had to sign what he called a promissory note. I'm not kidding you, yet it's a promissory note that if you take this class that you would become a school board member in your local community. So, you know, I graduated from Harvard and then I moved to Southern California. And, you know, my wife and I had our first child and when she was in kindergarten, I started volunteering at my kid's school at the school site council and the principal came in and said, hey, there's an open open for a a board seat. And she pointed at me and she said, I think you should apply. She didn't know that I had signed this promissory note when I was at the ed school that I would be a school board member. And so I put all my applications together and, you know, my daughter was in kindergarten and you know, the very first question is, why do you want to be a, a, a Chula Vista Elementary School Board member? And the first picture on the first slide was my youngest daughter's kindergarten picture. Oh, my you know, goodness. they say a picture can say a thousand words. Yes. And that was the reason why I wanted to be um, on the school board, because I wanted to make sure that not just that picture, but all 30,000 students that were in the district have the same wants and needs and are able to succeed as a learner. And what's so exciting right now about AI is that as a school board member, you know, school board members being able to use AI is a very powerful tool because it asks questions like, why are these students over at this side of town underperforming and the students that are on the other side of town are doing better? 
What are the yeah. qualities? What are the skills? What are what's happening over there? What data can you show me now? Not six months from now, not after my term has expired, but what can mm-hmm. you show me now that can give me insights into maybe what's happening? And you know, AI does that. And so, you know, um, being able to not only meet the needs of what's happening now, but using artificial intelligence after a while that starts to get smart and starts to uh, provide predictive analytics to everything that it's doing, it really can govern how school to, school boards focus on what, what's most important in schools. And, and that, and that and the, instead of going from whatever, you know, the, it's happening in outside of schools that's impacting the schools. And so, you know, when, when we look at school board members are a lot of pressure right now. They're under mm-hmm. a lot of external pressures, things that have that aren't even happening in the classroom that impact the schools and the school districts. And so it takes school board members with um, a, a, a backbone and mm-hmm. not a wishbone. It takes um, superintendents that are forward thinking and that are already using AI or thinking about how can they use AI to tell their story and to tell it better to their constituents so that you know we focus on what matters the most and that's what's happening in the classroom. That's student performance, that's kids achieving, that's kids showing up to school, that's kids you know being in a place where we're able to predict and you can do this through uh, dumbru.ai predict if that student is, is, is going to pass that grade or not. And through the platform, it provides intervention that gives students right then and there real life tools where they can change and make adjustments. They don't have to wait till they're out of that grade level and they moved on to right. the next class. They can do it right now. That's the power of AI. That's why all, uh, school districts need to come on board. That's why school board members need to come on board. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing that because, you know, on a daily basis, we're always having conversations about how dumbru.ai can really be an educational assistant. And we see teachers using it all the time in the classroom setting. And again, in live time, it helps them within a moment of whatever their needs are, you know, whether it's a classroom assessment or a quiz. um, It is just such a supportive advocate for students and their educational process individualized. So hoping that obviously everyone can take advantage of it. And the other thing too is right now, and I know sitting on both sides of being on a school board, but also having the pleasure to work with Dumbo.ai is that right now is the time to get involved. You know, right. the, you know we are looking at um, establishing pilots and pilot schools, pilot districts mm-hmm. all across the country and now's the time to to get in it's low cost it's it's not going to cost the district an arm and a leg it's something that they can easily afford you know mm-hmm. um and if they if they if they get if they get involved now they could be a part of building something that's great not only for their district but for education Yeah, and I think another component of that is what we talk to teachers about all the time. I think one differentiator for dumbru.ai is the ability to have teachers come on board and learn enough about certain parts of using the AI program and really, you know, become and have that as their expertise and then move into another piece of dumbru.ai that they can use in the classroom. So, you know, this is a journey and we walk with them through it, right? So some teachers we talk to, they don't have any background in AI and they have their fears and their challenges and they say, Amy, I don't know where to begin. Um, And we walk them through it. You know, we allow them to get their feet wet, you know, become more um, varied in what they can do with the program. And then they really get engaged with the students to be able to use it every day. It's really a wonderful process to see. Yeah, no, it's, it, you know, as we think about the evolution, I mean, you talked about fears, you know, and one of the things that I share is that, you know, nothing will replace that teacher in the classroom. However, a teacher who's equipped with AI may replace those that aren't uh, connected with AI. So. You know, it's just like the evolution of the iPhone. The iPhone right. came in, and it came into such a came in with such a wave. No one had a, 
it was like we didn't even have a choice. Like I couldn't go right. back and, and and rotate the phone, and, and you know, it's not hanging on the wall anymore. It has a cord to it, you know. It's it, those things are gone. <laughs> and I I had to le- I had to learn to adapt real quick and figure out how to use this this uh, the new technology for good. Well, the same is true with AI and education. You're going to be using AI one way or another in your school. You might as well be a pioneer and not. Um, there's three types of people in this world. There's those who make things happen, those who watch exactly. things happen, and then unfortunately you have those people that just said, hey, what just happened? For those of you listening right now, don't be a part of that crowd that's sitting there saying, hey, what's happened? Um, because when you when you do that, the people who suffer the most are the kids. Because you're keeping these great resources from them. So... Jump in now. Do Very it now. True. Uh, do it now because it's going to be here. It's going to be shaping the uh, hopefully in a very very positive way. The way we, uh, we the way we teach, the way we help kids uh, learn, but more importantly, give resources to teachers where they don't feel so overwhelmed, overburdened, stressed out. Uh, where we can use AI for good, and that's what we want to do. Yeah, so I mean, in all honesty, to every school board member out there, your role matters. Your time matters. Your voice matters. So join us at dumru.ai, where we turn data into decisions and decisions into change. Until next time, lead with heart.